Got a minute? I'm kind of busy. I'm inventing a system of heraldry for two warring tribes of orcs in my D&D campaign. Oh, I was hoping we could talk about atheism. Much like an orc, I'm all ears. What's it like to not believe in God? It's great, big fan. Are you ever afraid you're wrong? About religion? Never. About other things? Also never. I don't know. It seems a little scary to just stop believing. Well, is it more comforting to believe in a god who could flood the world and kill everyone because he had a bad day? That's a good point. But doesn't it upset people when you say you don't believe? <laughs> oh, yeah. And that doesn't bother you? Does it bother you when you upset people? I couldn't care less. Welcome to atheism. Now, if you were an orc, would you like this flag? Why are you watching the Ten Commandments? I've just been thinking about God. Why? I don't understand how a God that's supposed to be good lets such bad things happen. Oh. Can you think about it while I watch Yo! MTV Raps? Sure. Dope. What's the move? Do you believe in God? Yeah. But in the Bible, he does all kinds of mean stuff. If he's good, why would he do that? Maybe he just wants to show he's in charge. Hulk Hogan's nice, but in the ring, he will mess you up. That's either really smart or really stupid. That's what I do. Do you ever wonder if it's all made up? Look, this is Texas. We like football, we like God. And beef. Beef's up there, too. But how do you know there's a God? See that girl dancing in them shorts? There's a God. All right, you two, get ready for bed. Church in the morning. I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? I don't think I believe in God anymore. What did you do to her? Hey, she came to me. I mean, I took the ball and ran with it. Look at you with the sports analogy. We're both evolving. Ooh, evolution, another thing I'll teach you about. I don't care what you believe, you are going to church tomorrow. I don't want to. It might be fun, the new youth pastor is starting. So? We can attack his belief system together, like the wonder twins of atheism. See, your brother's excited. You just want the new guy to have a bad day. I can want two things. Well, hey, y'all. I'm Pastor Rob. I'm uh, guessing everyone knows what this is. The Bible. That's right. That's right. What else is it? The Word of God. Excellent. Excellent. You know what else it is? It's just a book. I like him. God is more than just a book. God is real. God is everywhere, and God loves you. He's losing me. Yes, Missy Cooper, right? How'd you know? Let's see, Mary's your mother, Sheldon's your brother, and I hear you are one heck of a pitcher. Do my homework, y'all. Homework? He's winning me back. So what's on your mind, Missy? Is it okay that I'm wondering if God is real? I can take this one. Yes. He is absolutely right. And then Pastor Rob said it doesn't matter if I believe in God, because God believes in me. I said the same thing. Not like he did. Well, I told him religion is an objective and there's no proof for it. Oh, I bet he didn't like that. He loved it. He quoted Kierkegaard and said if you could prove it, there would be no room for faith. Oh, well, good for him. He also likes homework. Mm -hmm. He even threw the Bible on the floor. He what? You heard me.